एवरीवन टुडे इज वीडियो इज अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑन नाइट्रोजन मेटाबॉलिज्म वी ऑल नो दैट 78 परसेंट ऑफ एयर इज नाइट्रोजन बट प्लांट कैन नॉट यूज इट डायरेक्टली दे हैव टू फिक्स इट फर्स्ट इनटू यूजेबल फॉर्म्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच फॉर्म ऑफ नाइट्रोजन कैन नॉट बी यूज और अब्जॉर्ब बाय प्लांट we have four options here molecular nitrogen nitrate nitrite and ammonia so as we have talked first a option that is molecular nitrogen is correct nitrite nitrate and ammonia are usable form for plant second question is oxidation of ammonia compound into nitrites and nitrates is called we have four options here ammonification denitrification nitrification and none of the above what is ammonification formation of ammonia from other nitrogenous compound is called as ammonification in denitrification usable form of nitrogen are converted back into molecular nitrogen and in nitrification ammonia is converted into nitrates and nitrites so our right answer is c that is nitrification our next question is we have given two reactions here in these reactions ammonia get converted into nitrite first and then into nitrates so we have to tell name of bacteria 1 and 2 so bacteria 1 is nitrosomonas and bacteria 2 is nitrobacter our options are first option cannot be correct because the sequence of both bacteria are reversed so our option will be nitrosomonas and nitrobacter respectively so our fourth option d is correct next question which of the following is a denitrifying bacteria what is denitrification as we have talked earlier denitrification is conversion of usable form of nitrogen into molecular nitrogen we have four options first bacteria is pseudomonas denitrificans as the name indicate it will perform denitrification bacillus subtilis and azobacter these also can do denitrification so our right answer is all of the above all three are the denitrifying bacteria next question which of the following is an anaerobic bacteria our option a azotobacter b bezernichia these both are aerobic bacteria so these are not correct options c disulfovibrio this is a chemosynthetic bacteria and last one is d bacillus that is anaerobic bacteria so our right answer is d next question choose an incorrect pair here we have shown some symbiotic association with different plants and we have to choose incorrect pair our first option is anthocyrus that is symbiotically associated with nostoc this is correct association second is azolla azolla is a fun plant and it is associated with anabina so this is correct association third that is paspalum notatum azobacter this is also correct d digitaria digitaria is associated with spiralum notatum so here we have shown nostoc so this is incorrect so our right answer is d next question stem nodules are found in which plant or family we have three families here and one plant casuarinaceae cisbenia rubiaceae and myrcinaceae in casuarinaceae family we have root nodules in cisbenia we found stem nodules so our right answer is b cisbenia 
if we have asked leaf nodules so leaf nodules are found in rubiaceae and myrcinaceae family if we have asked about leaf nodules then our correct options may be rubiaceae and myrcinaceae family next question a protein pigment present in the nodule and provide it a pink color is this is a direct question options are red hemoglobin lag hemoglobin bacterial hemoglobin and hemoglobin so our right answer is b lag hemoglobin next question in which cells rhizobia bacteria stimulate rapid multiplication and nodule formation so we have to tell that wherever rhizobium bacteria will finally multiply and produce nodules we have four options epidermal endodermal cortical and vascular cell so cortical cells are the right answer because bacteria will multiply in cortex next question several changes caused by node factor are what are node factors node factors are those factor which function when rhizobium bacteria get attracted to our plant so first option is they cause lactin activation what is lactin lactin is a type of carbohydrate that is released when rhizobium bacteria interact with the leguminous plant b promote root hair growth and curling of root hair tip it means root hair get curled when rhizobium bacteria has to enter into root hair third option is enclose rhizobia in small compartment made due to curling of hair when hair root hairs of plant get curled they form small compartments and our rhizobium bacteria get enter into these compartment and finally get enter into root hair by degrading cell wall of the root hair so fourth option is degrade cell wall of the root hair so these our four point are correct and we have to choose correct information so d is our right answer all of the above next question is how many atp are utilized in fixation of one nitrogen molecule this is a direct question so 16 atp are required so our right answer is c that is 16 atp next question is consider the following statements about enzyme nitrogenase nitrogenase is the main enzyme in nitrogen fixation so nitrogenase is formed of two subunits let's see about points first point is enzyme nitrogenase consist of two subunit fe protein and mo fe protein this is correct point second point fe protein is a smaller subunit and made up of two identical subunits which consist of iron sulfur clusters that participates in redox reactions involved in conversion of nitrogen to ammonia so our fe is smaller subunit and mo fe is larger subunit fe protein subunit is dimer and mo fe protein subunit is tetramer next point is mo fe subunit has four subunits that is tetramer and each subunit has two molybdenum iron sulfur clusters this is also correct point next point is the enzyme nitrogenase is irreversibly inactivated by presence of oxygen oxygen inhibit the nitrogenase enzyme activity so it will stop functioning when there is presence of oxygen this is also correct point next point 10 atp are utilized by nitrogenase in fixation of nitrogen so this is wrong point because we have talked earlier that 16 atp are required so this is wrong option now our question is choose the combination of correct statement so we know that our first four point are correct so option c is correct 1 2 3 and 4 only 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग नाइट्रोजन एसिमुलेशन लेट सी अबाउट स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इज रिगार्डिंग एसिमुलेशन प्रोसेस फर्स्ट नाइट्रेट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू नाइट्राइट देन इन टू अमोनिया बाई द यूज ऑफ अंजाइम नाइट्रेट रिडक्टेज एंड नाइट्राइट रिडक्टेज रिस्पेक्टिवली वट इज एसिमुलेशन एसिमुलेशन इज द प्रोसेस इन विच फिक्स नाइट्रोजन इज यूटिलाइज बाय द प्लांट सो इन दिस यूटिलाइजेशन नाइट्रेट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू नाइट्राइट then nitrite into ammonia and this is done by nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase b option is nitrate reductase is molybdenum flavoheme protein which require nadh nadph as electron donor so this is right statement next nitrite reductase possess a prosthetic group siroheme consisting of iron and sulfur FADH NADPH can act as electron donor so this is also a correct statement D two key enzyme glutamine synthetase and gogat are important in ammonium assimilation once nitrate get converted into ammonia then this ammonia get fixed into different type of amino acid two key enzyme are important ग्लूटामिन सिंथेटेस एंड गोगेट गोगेट इज ग्लूटामिन टू ऑक्सोग्लूट्रेट अमीनो ट्रांसफ्रेस सो दिस ऑल फॉर स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट सो ऑल ऑफ द अब इज अवर राइट ऑप्शन सो ई इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर एस नाउ सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू बी कैप्ड इन माइंड first point is plant cannot use molecular nitrogen because of presence of highly stable covalent bond so we have talked about it earlier next point nitrogen can be fixed by some physical factor such as lightning thunderstorm pollution uv rays these are some physical factor which can fix nitrogen and plant can use this type of fixed nitrogen next point is chemically in chemical reaction nitrogen can produce ammonia at a very high temperature and pressure and this process is known as haber bose process so if you asked about chemically fixation of nitrogen you can say it can be done by haber bose process next point is desideria sorghum and gia maize these are non modulated angiospermic plant and possess symbiotic association with spirillum notatum we have talked earlier in this video about desideria and spirillum notatum association next point is rhizobia are group of motile and gram negative bacteria like azorhizobium bradyrhizobium photorhizobium rhizobium they perform symbiosis with leguminous plant when we talk about rhizobia that means it is group of various bacteria and these are gram negative bacteria they form symbiotic association with leguminous plant or we can say that fabiaceae family plant next point infection thread continues to grow by fusion of golgi vesicle it means when our rhizobium bacteria will infect plant its infection thread continue to grow by fusion of various golgi vesicles next point lag hemoglobin is responsible for controlled oxygen condition what does mean by controlled oxygen condition it means oxygen will be supplied but in a limited concentration why oxygen is required because our rhizobium bacteria are aerobic bacteria and why it is limited because our nitrogenase enzyme is sensitive to oxygen if there is more concentration of oxygen our enzyme nitrogenase will stop working next point 
इन साइनो बैक्टीरिया थिक वर्ल्ड हिट्रोसिस्ट सेल प्रोवाइड ऑक्सीजन कंडीशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर नाइट्रोजनेस एंजाइम इट मीन्स हिट्रोसिस्ट वॉल विल क्रिएट कंडीशन दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फॉर्मेश फॉर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ नाइट्रोजनेस एंजाइम लास्ट पॉइंट इन मोलिबिडनम डेफिशियंट प्लांट देर इज कैरेसिटी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन बिकॉज मोलिबिडनम इज मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजनेस एंजाइम इट मीन्स वैन देर इज डेफिशियंसी ऑफ मोलिबिडनम और इफ वी विल नॉट सप्लाई मोलिबिडनम टू अवर प्लांट देर विल बी स्कैरिसिटी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन बिकॉज मोलिबिडनम इज द मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ अवर एंजाइम नाइट्रोजनेज सो इट विल स्टॉप फिक्सिंग नाइट्रोजन दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज वीडियो